right now, we start with breaking news. The Pack are not feeling the love. Green Bay can't get their offense moving with their new quarterback in his first career start. And a missing Dodge County woman is found safe. An update from the sheriff's investigation. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly just devastated. I could never imagine anything like this just happening. Plus, new details into this week's deadly stampede at a Texas music festival. That's all coming up at 10. For the first time since 2017, someone other than number 12 got a start under center for Green Bay, and it didn't go so well. Jordan Love was no Aaron Rodgers tonight in Kansas City. Our Jordan, Ru Jordan Reed is in studio tonight with the highlights. Now, aside from the reigning MVP in his situation, the conversation this week has been about seeing what Jordan Love can do against the Chiefs as he gets his first NFL start. But this game is anything but easy for the QB and company. Special teams falling short a couple of times, and the Packers remain scoreless until late in the game. That's when Love is finally able to connect with Alan Lazard, but there's just not enough time to complete the comeback. Chiefs go on and win it 13-7. I thought our guys battled. I thought Jordan... I, I was really proud of the way he played. He, he hung in there. He was taking hits um, and delivering the ball, and I thought he did a, a really good job. But I think that ultimately I've got to be better, and, and this one falls squarely on me. There's still more to come from this game coming up in sports. We're going to get to hear from the team, including Jordan Love. Thanks so much, Jordan. Aaron Rodgers can't return to practice until next weekend, but the NFL is keeping him on their radar. According to reports from ESPN and the NFL Network, the NFL is investigating whether the MVP quarterback and the Packers followed the league's COVID protocols. This stems from several complaints about Rodgers' behavior after it was revealed this week that he's unvaccinated. The reports say that Rodgers would be fined, but not suspended if the NFL does choose to hand down punishments. And Rodgers made head Lines late this week when he appeared on the Pat McAfee show. In the interview, he attempted to explain his reasons for not getting the vaccine, and he claimed he didn't lie when he said back in August that he was immunized. Now, Prevea Health did cut its sponsorship deal with Rogers yesterday over his comments. Well, to weather now, Austin Kopnitsky, who's not in as much hot water as Aaron Rodgers, is outside with your certified <laughs> most accurate forecast. Hey, by next week at this time, we're going to talk about high temperatures in the 30s, so I'd look for some hot water to help warm me up, actually, but for right now, it actually feels pretty great outside. 55 degrees currently, wind chills staying steady at 55, although we're seeing a south-southwesterly breeze of around 9 miles per hour. Reason why we're not seeing a wind chill? Well, temperatures just aren't cold enough as of right now. Mid-50s for most of us, Watoma down to around 51. A lot of other communities still in those middle 50s, however. But taking a look at some of our wind speeds, we're looking at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now that's going to stick around throughout these overnight hours. It's not going to knock your, you off your feet. It won't tear your roof off of your head, but it is going to be a little bit on the breezier side of things here later on tonight. Monroe even seen about an 18 mile per hour breeze. But taking a look at our Doppler track, staying dry yet again here for tonight. Looking to stay dry throughout tomorrow as well. The next rain chance does return on Tuesday, but tonight that low temperature of 45 degrees, that's warmer than a lot of high temperatures we have here later on in the extended forecast. So make sure you stay tuned. Not only are we cooling things down, we have plenty of rain chances and even a chance to see a few snowflakes. I'll have details on that later on. Thanks so much, Austin. Well, this Dodge County woman is safe tonight after going missing early this morning, and it's this man that's in custody tonight. Dalil Mahodin was in Lebanon earlier today to find out more and shares the circumstances surrounding her disappearance. 32-year-old Amanda Barr first went missing here at the Hidden Meadows Mobile Home Park in Lebanon, Wisconsin. And though she's been found safely, police say there's still more to uncover. In a town with a population of less than 2,000 people, news of the missing woman spread quickly. Just kind of through the grapevine. It's a small town. Everything travels fast. Prior to being found safe late afternoon on Sunday, police asked for the community's help in locating the 32-year-old. They say their initial concern over Amanda Barr started with a domestic abuse incident early Sunday morning at a mobile home park in the outskirts of town. Not totally surprised for that area. The man involved in that incident was 29-year-old Jesse Lafferty, who police later arrested in connection with Barr's disappearance. It's not surprising to hear that something in Hidden Meadows happens like that because there are often calls out there. So 
Prior to being taken into custody, Lafferty had two outstanding arrest warrants. And in 2019, he pleaded no contest in two domestic abuse cases. Police say this is still an active investigation and additional charges will likely follow for Lafferty. In Lebanon, Tahrir Mahdeen, News 3 Now. Developing tonight, two Wauwatosa police officers are expected to be okay after being shot by a man at a Radisson hotel overnight. The initial call was for a report of gunshots on the hotel's second floor. When officers checked out the floor, two of them were hit. Police say the suspect is in custody tonight. We was all shocked because, you know, this is Wauwatosa. You know, just besides a few things in the past that happened, we didn't, you weren't know, expecting that, you know, and it didn't make no sense. I hope they are all right, though, but it's just crazy. What is Milwaukee coming to? We do know now that the Milwaukee Area Investigative Team is leading this investigation. Wauwatosa police expect to provide another update tomorrow. And Wauwatosa's mayor says he is grateful for the courage and dedication of the city's police. He says the entire community condemns this, quote, senseless violence. I just want to send out prayers to the, to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. Well, who you just saw was rapper Travis Scott, who says he's doing everything he can in the wake of the Friday night's deadly chaos during the set of the Astro World Music Festival in Houston. Mourners are laying flowers today for the eight victims who range from age 14 to 27. Family says the youngest victim arrived early at the concert to get a good spot in the crowd of more than 50,000. And authorities are launching a criminal investigation into the crowd surge, which started around the time that Travis Scott took stage. Police are looking into videos, interviewing witnesses, and checking reports that somebody was injected with drugs. Meanwhile, Travis Scott is being sued over this tragedy. Billboard is reporting that one of the men hurt in the crush is accusing the rapper of putting profits for the safety of the event. The lawsuit ripped Scott and the promoters for continuing the show even after ambulances began to treat dozens of people. Well, testimony is set to continue tomorrow morning in Kenosha County. The prosecution will wrap its case as Kyle Rittenhouse trials enters its second week. Among those expected to testify tomorrow is Gage Gross Cruz, who's one of the three people Rittenhouse shot during the protest last year. The 18-year-old faces seven total charges, including two counts of homicide. And we'll be carrying all of that testimony live on Channel 3000's streaming service and on Channel 3000's news app. Also tomorrow, a pretrial conference for one of the men accused of shooting and killing 11-year-old Anissa Scott last year. Perion Carrion is expected to appear in Dane County Court tomorrow. He's pled not guilty for a charge of first-degree intentional homicide of Scott's death. Now, jury selection for Carrion's trial isn't set to start until next June. Thanksgiving is right around the corner, and health experts say that this year it is safe to gather for the holidays. That means young children sitting across from the tables from their grandparents is okay. Children who are partially vaccinated have some immunity, and they're going to be more protected in that environment. But I think using testing smartly in those settings can help protect that, that setting. The CDC still hasn't released updated guidance as to how to celebrate Thanksgiving, but says the best way to have a safe holiday is to make sure that everyone who is eligible gets the vaccine. If someone is not vaccinated, they should still wear a mask indoors. And as always, anyone who is sick or showing any symptoms should stay at home. Young children could be beginning to get their shots of COVID at the Alliant Energy Center this week. Officials say they're working quickly to expand their vaccine operations. Now, right now, booster doses are still available at Alliant Energy Center on Tuesdays through Saturdays. We do have a full list of vaccination sites available on channel3000.com. And good news from the CDC this week. Seven out of 10 American adults are now fully vaccinated against COVID-19. And more than 80% of Americans ages 18 and older have received at least one of their shots. And after nearly two years, the U.S. will open up to vaccinated international travelers tomorrow. The U.S. lifted a pandemic traveling ban on international visitors from more than 30 countries who were shut out for nearly 20 months. Now, visitors will need to show proof of their vaccination status and a recent negative COVID test. 
That also means all lanes will be open at the U.S.-Canada border. Canada started welcoming fully vaccinated Americans back in August. Now, upon re-entry, Canada is making its citizens present a negative COVID test, which Canadians, it can actually cost them up to $300 to get. U.S. leaders are urging Canada to drop that requirement. It's the giving season. Still ahead of 10, how a group in our community is making it easy and fun for everyone to give back. Plus, a little boy grows little pumpkins, but it's what he does with them that's going to warm your heart. Stay right with us. If a nurse is what you want to be, let Herzing University make it possible in lots of different ways. We'll even waive your enrollment fee. Be exactly the nurse you want to be. I'm possible at Herzing. Call or click today. It's time to get holiday ready with Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks, or with Ford Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV, and come home in a Ford Bronco Sport. That's how you get holiday ready. Get a Ford F-150 with zero for 60 and 500 retail bonus cash, plus complimentary maintenance when you sign up for Ford Pass Rewards. See your Ford dealer today. Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Aleve it and see what's possible. And also try Aleve X Topical Pain Relief. Welcome back to Ho Chunk Amy Madison, where the action's really heating up. Yeah, Jerry, let's go down to Tina and see what's happening. Thanks, guys. We're here with Cheryl and Greg, and they just won the huge jackpot. What are you guys gonna do with all that cash? We're gonna go to Fiji. I'm gonna see my mom. My mom. <laughs> Maybe they'll take her on vacation. Oh, it looks like a great day for Cheryl and Greg. <laughs> hey, I wish I could join them. <laughs> you protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. To the thousands of Herzing University nursing and healthcare alumni, for your tireless commitment, and to all of your brave colleagues across America, we say thank you. I'm A nonprofit sprouts from a local mom's grief over her infant's devastating diagnosis. Josh Schreider shows you how Asher's gift box is helping other families cope. And the weather pattern changes next week. We'll have that Monday morning from 430 to 7. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. Welcome back, everyone. After nearly a quarter century, a new school is finally set to open in Jefferson County. The Johnson Creek School District hosted a ribbon cutting ceremony for its new elementary school this afternoon. The land was purchased for the building back in the late 90s, and the community supported the school in a referendum back in 2014. Now, the new building is attached to the district's middle and high schools, which the superintendent says is a win for everyone. Just to have that mentorship and uh, the ability to have the younger students look up to our high school students um, is just a great way to interact, and you, you just don't have those divisions that you have when the structures divide you. District leaders say community members also are continuing to support the district's One Team, One Dream campaign, which is funding the school's athletic facilities. New tonight at 10, the season of giving is here, and each Sunday this month, we are featuring a local business or nonprofit that is giving back. Christina Laurie kicks things off tonight with a new kind of game for people of all ages. 
There's a saying, a rising tide lifts all boats. Madison is a big city, but it feels like a small town. At a time when many people are still struggling to pay their bills and nonprofits are trying to help more people with less money, Carly, Cassie, and a community called Rising Tide are here to help. Not seeing each other as competitors. Oh, well, I've been doing it this way, but holy cow, I never even thought to do something the way you're doing it, and that's so much more efficient. These women run the Madison branch of a national group that brings together local entrepreneurs who all work in the creative space. They meet monthly, sharing information on how to make money. This November, as part of Philanthropy Month, they're swapping ideas on how to make a difference. There's more you can do than just dropping off food at the um, food bank. Carly's a graphic designer and created this board for a game of philanthropy bingo. Spaces include raking leaves for a neighbor, leaving books inside a little free library, and mailing a card to someone living in a nursing home. The group's encouraging everyone to play along. Like it wasn't a chore, but it was something to make you feel good. Getting a jump start on the holiday season, remembering that sometimes the best gift of all is giving back. That's Truly when you can make the biggest impact is when you want to versus when you feel like you have to. In Madison, Christina Laurie, News 3 Now. You can actually download the bingo card on Rising Tide's Instagram page. We do have a link on it on our website, channel3000.com. One of the country's biggest marathons made its return today for the first time since before the pandemic. More than 30,000 people ran in the 50th New York City Marathon. 50,000 runners usually join in, but organizers wanted to maintain distance between competitors near the start and the finish lines. Both the men's and women's race were won by runners from Kenya. Austin, are you much of a runner? You know, I am not the biggest runner, but I actually know someone that ran in that race here earlier. And uh, he said on his Instagram, sub three. I don't know exactly what that means. I'm guessing sub three hours, maybe? I, I don't know. Someone email me and let me know for sure. I'm not the biggest runner myself, but I'm still proud of my man. I'm proud of you, Matt Mueller. And here outside today, beautiful day today. Beautiful, gorgeous one ahead for tomorrow. Temperatures are going to remain in those middle 60s. Staying dry all the way through Tuesday, but then we see the changes to the forecast. Tonight's low 45, next Sunday's high temperature 38 degrees. So we're going to see those rain chances returning, a possibility of a few flakes mixing in as well with drastically cooler temperatures on the way. But outside right now, it really does feel pretty excellent. I would highly recommend getting outside tomorrow as well and enjoying those 60s as much as we possibly can. I don't know when the next time we're going to see 60s in the forecast is. I'm guessing quite a few months from now, but staying dry on our Doppler track for tonight. It does look like tomorrow we're going to see some cloud cover, but temperatures still look Looking gorgeous. Good to go here for our Monday. Come Tuesday, however, we're going to see that slim chance to see a passing shower. And this model just recently updated, and really all it did was actually shift those small chances of showers a little bit south. I still do think that one or two of our communities still could see that passing shower on Tuesday. Most look to stay dry, but then on Wednesday, most of us are going to see that rainfall returning, especially late in the day and in the overnight hours. More rainfall on the way for Thursday. And that's also attached to a cold front, dramatically cooling down our temperatures. And then afterwards, it does look like on parts of Friday in the afternoon and evening, small chance to see a little bit of some snowfall mixing in, not expecting measurable snowfall as of right now. That still could end up changing, but right now it does look like we could just see a few flurries mixing in here, especially on Saturday morning and early Sunday morning. But for most of us, we're not going to see any accumulation. So I know a lot of people are waiting for that big snowfall. I don't think this one's going to be that first one of the season just yet. But our 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook does show that we're generally going to dry things out here towards the end of this forecast. And that's exactly what we're looking at as well here locally. Taking a look at our extended forecast. Again, it looks a little bit messy towards the middle and end of this next week. That's going to drive down those temperatures again quite a bit here. Next Saturday and Sunday, I have 38 degrees. And just to put that in perspective, tonight's low is 45 degrees. So Brad, we're really cooling things down. Down, and it's going to be very tough to see a recovery back up into the 60s. So I think this might be one of the last times I'm actually talking about 60s, unfortunately, until after the new year. I'm curious, are you excited for uh, the winter season? You know, I like the beginning of winter. I like the first few snowfalls. It's beautiful out there, but then it gets to the point where those snow piles get so high, you can't even turn out of most areas because 
you just can't see. It's tough. Oh. So that, that's how I feel. I love it at the beginning and towards the end, I just cannot wait for summer. I was going to say, all of us Midwesterners <laughs> know everything, every trick or trade on how to drive in the wintertime. Right. So time to break out those skills once again. It's an art. <laughs> Thanks so much, Austin. Next at 10, a pint-sized pumpkin grower in central Minnesota is showing off his huge heart this fall. He grows his own pumpkins every year. And get this, it gets better. He then donates the proceeds to a good cause. Liz Collins has a story. It's another busy morning on this small farm northeast of Monticello. But when you're Emmett Cox and you have a pumpkin patch to run, <laughs> there is always plenty of work that goes along with it. I'm just blown away. Emmett's mom has been amazed at the reaction to the mission her five-year-old set off on last year. This has donating all of the money from his pumpkin sales to a worthy cause he chooses. And the thing I hear the most is, we just needed this right now. My entire family was so moved by his story. Messages have poured in since. Way to go, Emmett. So proud of your kind heart. I saw your story and this really touched me so much so that I just had to give. Well done, young man. <laughs> More money came to $532. Donations from all ages, from friends and strangers. Ah! Even a local horse trainer who wanted to give. I had a feeling that someday, somehow, he'd be a part of something grand. Emmett gave all of it to his church, Faith Lutheran, last weekend to go toward a new playground. Way to go, Emmett. I'm touched that he was able to impact people and make them want to be a better person, too. Thank you. Emmett wanted to be sure to share his appreciation for the support. I wish I could give you a hug. Before he's off yet again, as around here, seed money seems to pay off. I'm really proud of him. We all are. He has his own cart. That was amazing. That was Liz Collins reporting. Emmett says he isn't sure just yet where he's going to donate next year's money. Well, we've heard Matt LaFleur's thoughts on today's game. Now we're going to hear from this week's quarterback. That's coming up right next in sports. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Your place, your club, your gateway to experience the best the city has to offer. Are you ready to experience life at the Madison Club? Join now for only $100 a month. Call or visit madisonclub.org to join today. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. And less also means more, as in more choice. While the other guys may limit your options, at U.S. Cellular, you choose any phone and we make it free. That's right. Visit our store and any phone you see is free. Plus, get unlimited data for $30 a month and get the most out of our state-of-the-art network, wherever you choose to go. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. It's time to get holiday ready with Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks, or with Ford Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV, and come home in a Ford Bronco Sport. That's how you get holiday ready. Get a Ford F-150 with zero for 60 and 500 retail bonus cash, plus complimentary maintenance when you sign up for Ford Pass Rewards. See your Ford dealer today. Have you seen those small oh, careful with the nice. Sorry, Missy. Excuse me, can we... Excuse me, I was wondering, could we... Bedroom. Finding the right person for the job isn't always easy. But when you have an insurance question, you can always count on your local GEICO agent. They can give you personalized advice and could help you save hundreds. Who wants some dress checks? For expert help with all your insurance needs, get to know your local GEICO agent today. With Dad's arthritis, he needs extra help around the house. So I called a Grace. Yes, a Grace. With their agent home service, he can stay at home. home. That's where I want to spend these months. <laughs> with hospice care from a Grace, I can stay home with my dog and my grandkids and their laughter. <laughs> I had no idea laughter could be a part of my life again after Joe died. But through a Grace, I found hope and healing. A Grace. Caring. Every step of the way. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? 
They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. Your place, your club, your gateway to experience the best the city has to offer. Are you ready to experience life at the Madison Club? Join now for only $100 a month. Call or visit madisonclub.org to join today. A lot of eyes on Jordan Love this afternoon as the young quarterback gets his first career start. It's a day that's been in the making for some time, and it didn't go as planned. Packers in Kansas City facing the Chiefs, a team that has had its up and downs this season. Nonetheless, they brought it. Defense testing both Love and special teams. The Packers miss a field goal, then their next one is blocked. They're trailing by 13 going into the fourth quarter. Well, Love finally gets into a groove. He's able to find Alan Lazard downfield for the team's first and only touchdown of the game. And that's where the rally ends. The Packers fall for the second time this season, 13 to seven, snapping the seven game win streak. Love finishes the day with one touchdown and one interception. You never know when the opportunity is gonna come and I got it today and not being able to go win that game and uh, obviously we had a lot of chances on offense defense played a really good game uh, gave us a lot of chances and I think that's what's most disappointing is I wasn't able to execute and uh, as a team you know we weren't able to go finish and get some more points on the board early um, and it was just too little too late at the end so it is very disappointing in the nation's capital tonight, the Bucks meet with the Wizards before visiting President Joe Biden tomorrow. Now, after Washington's 12-0 run to start, the game stays pretty close. Grayson Allen already making a big impact for the Bucks tonight, helping them take the lead in the third. But Bradley Beal shooting lights out. Wizards start to run away with this game. Giannis, of course, doing all that he can to keep the deer in it, but it's just not enough. The Bucks fall 101 to 94. A couple times this season, the Wisconsin women's hockey team has been backed into a corner, but each time they prove why they're top ranked, responding in impressive fashion. Coming off a scoreless tie with Bemidji State, the Badgers are looking for different results today. Well, the Beavers net one just minutes in when Wisconsin gets to work. Sarah Woznovich gets some help from Caitlin Schneider and Kendra Neely on the equalizer. Well, minutes later, later it's the same line. They trade roles. Schneider lights the lamp with the go ahead. It makes it two to one, and then the Badgers blow this game wide open in the second period they put up six goals to win eight to one short field Wisconsin football put on a clinic in New Jersey yesterday beating Rutgers 52 to 3 and while the focus is on the college football playoff rankings the Badgers did slide back into the AP top 25 where they're ranked 20th in the CFP they still sit at number 21 those rankings get updated every Tuesday also kicked off kickoff time has been announced for Wisconsin's game with Northwestern this Saturday it's at 11 a.m. at Camp Randall we'll be right back Starion Bank's mobile banking solutions can help you get it all done. Safely deposit checks from anywhere, anytime with mobile deposit. What are you waiting for? Explore the possibilities at StarionBank.com. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. Looks like you're not sleeping well. How did you know? And Megan! Hey! You're that guy. The My Pillow guy. That's right, and I'm here to help you get the best sleep of your lives. Oh, you have a down pillow. Here's the problem with down pillows. You lay there, you feel comfortable, and guess what? It goes down, and you got one bent neck. So this pillow's no good, and I see you're sleeping on memory foam. Right, right. I'll show you what's wrong with that idea. Okay. Sleep's all about too high or too low, and I'm going to okay. show you where your comfort level would be. You know, that feels better. Right, that's better, but I'm not going to sit and hold this all day. <laughs> so every morning you're getting up like, you know, it's not mm -hmm. good. Just like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. I had tried every pillow out there and none of them worked. That's why I invented my pillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck aligned. Call or 
go online to take advantage of my best offer ever. For a limited time, when you use your promo code, you can get premium my pillows regularly $69.98, now only $29.98. That's right, only $29.98. That's the lowest price ever. It feels great to wake up in the morning and feel well rested. It's shocking to me that a pillow could make this big of a difference in my life. Sleep is one of the most important things to your health, and my pillow is one of the most important things to your sleep. Call or go online now to take advantage of my best offer ever. Use the promo code to get queen size premium my pillows regularly $69.98 for only $29.98. Get king size my pillows for just $5 more. It's the lowest price ever. You're sleeping better. Much better. And you're looking good. Feeling, Feeling good. good. I knew you would. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. Starion Bank's mobile banking solutions can help you get it all done. Quickly open an account, set up alerts, and more. What are you waiting for? Explore the possibilities at StarionBank.com. Every day, News 3 Now investigates. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Take a look at this. Sports cars with mustaches are driving around <laughs> New York City this weekend, but all for a good cause. More than 50 Lamborghini sporting mustache decals on their hoods paraded the streets of Manhattan and then parked in the shape of, oh, you guessed it, a giant mustache. <laughs> the cars are supporting Movember, the world's leading men's health care charity. The annual event encourages men to grow mustaches during the month of November to raise money and awareness for men's health, including prostate cancer. Oh, Austin, I, mean, I, got, I was going to say, yeah. you, you, can you grow a stash, oh. but you got it right yeah. there. <laughs> How about that? I mean, I was thinking about it, you know, shaving off everything from November, but I just don't think I'd look good with just a mustache. <laughs> but, but you do do the yeah. weather well. So. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And um, um, we do have another very nice day ahead of us for tomorrow. Tonight's low, even 45 degrees, but we do have to enjoy it because that extended forecast it's pretty chilly. By Friday, we're down to 40 degrees for that high temperature. And again, tonight's low temperature is 45 degrees. So once we cool things down, it is going to be a struggle to really warm things back up. That's all we have for our broadcast. Good night, everybody.